today I'm going to tell you guys how to play handball. That's what I play back home in Germany. <clears throat> um, first of all, it's not racquetball. two teams and each team has seven players in the field, six field players and one goalkeeper. You also need two goals because that's the option of the game to get the ball and the goal. And then you need a ball. Okay, the ball is like a mix between these two balls from the size and it's probably as hard as a basketball I would say. About here I drew what a field looks like and each team has one half and each team has one goal and then there are two halves in the game with like a 15 to 10 to 15 minutes break and the halves are about 30 minutes but when you're younger they're shorter like I play 25 minutes and the sh younger you are the shorter are the halves and then there are two referees and each team has one timeout, team timeout per half. So there's a total of four team timeouts if the coach decides to take both of them in each half. But there, you can't choose how long they are, they're always one minute long. The object of the whole game is to pass the ball within your team and then try to score in the other team's goal and try to prevent the other team from scoring. Okay, there in handball there are different positions you play, like in almost every other sport. And I'm going to show you what positions there are. So first of all, there's the goalkeeper, of course. And then you have the wingmans. Well, I'm drawing is the defense and offense now, so it's the same for both. So the defense wingman would be around here, and the offense would probably be here. And the same on the other side. And then there is the right and the left backcourt. That would be about here. And the defense people for these would be right here. And then there, um, there's the center backcourt that's in the middle. And there's also what's called a pivot. And that player all plays like at this circle. And and there are two more defense players around here. And the people, the field players cannot step into this circle. That's six meters from the goal. That's only for the goalkeeper. Only the goalkeeper can go in there. Okay, so let's talk about fouls a little bit. So when there's a foul, which is pretty common and which is good for the defense because it shows that they're working and trying to really prevent the offense from scoring, well, so when there's a foul, um, then the offense players all have to be out of this dashed line, and then they just have the ball and pass it again and start it over. When there's a foul, which is wor worse, um, the player either gets a yellow card, like in soccer, or um, a two minutes penalty, which means he has to go out of the game for two minutes, so his team plays with only six, uh, five field players for that time. And um, it also could be that they have like a penalty throw, um, so everybody has to go out of this line and behind the thrower and he throws from here free on the goal. So the goalkeeper has to try to catch it, which is kind of hard, but they do it sometimes. And um, when there's a really, really bad foul, which is not um, that common, but it happens, um, then the player gets a red card, like in soccer, and is disqualified. Okay, now I'm going to talk about a couple more rules, and I'm going to use this ball because I don't really have a handball. So, in this sport, you can dribble, just like normal dribbling, like kind of like a basketball, but we don't like go out through our legs or behind our back. And if you dribble and you catch the ball. You can't dribble again because that will be a double dribble and a turnover. And when you have the ball in your hand, you either pass it, throw it to the goal, or you can take three steps 
but people don't take like huge big steps they just take like little steps and it's not that really important and yeah and then it's called handball so you can not use your feet only the goalkeeper can do that to catch the ball so it's not going into the goal so everything when a field player when the ball touches the field player behind be, um, under the knee it's a turnover also in handball when people throw the ball onto the goal they do um, it is kind of a special way and they call it jump throw and I kind of am impressed with the goal a little and this is going to be my 6 meter line and I'm going to show you guys how it should look like kind of okay so when you have the ball And this is what it looks like when professional handball players play handball. Handball is a very physical sport with a lot of contact between the players and because of that there is a good chance that you can get injured. From a bloody nose to jammed fingers to a torn ACL, everything can pretty much happen.